Hey guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. I know it's a little bit early, but I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, just because I know I promised a few of you that I am going to be doing an updated makeup tutorial, uh, or not makeup tutorial, makeup storage and collection. I just have to really get organized because my desk isn't as organized as I would like it to be, but it is coming soon and it is in my to-do list for the future. So... Um, I only have a few, well, probably about 11 or 12 products, somewhere around there, um, that I've really just been using so much um, throughout April, so we'll go ahead and I'll start showing you everything. The first thing that I've really, really been using is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and I'm in 115. I'm thinking this summer I'm going to have to go up a few shades, but I've really been using this. The only downfall is it's not a pump. I wish, I really wish they made more foundations into a pump. It just makes it so much easier, um because sometimes you pour out way too much product on your hand and I just really hate it. I wish more companies would make pumps rather than pour or even squeezable tubes. I don't mind those either. The blush that I've been using a ton is this Lancome blush in Sheer Ambrose. Oh. This was kind of buried in the back of my closet so I rediscovered it. This is really pretty rosy dark red color almost. It's not really showing up all that well. But it's not too harsh. Um, it's very, very light. So this is very wearable for every day. I've also been using as a highlighter, this is mainly what I've been using, is my Hard Candy um, Bronzer in Tiki. Just because it's so pretty. I mean, it's a pretty bronzer, but it's just so pretty for a highlighter too. Like, that is gorgeous. And even wet, if you put it on your hand wet, or you apply it wet, it's even more pretty. Let me see it. I just love this. This is perfect for daytime or nighttime. It doesn't really matter. So I've been using this a lot whenever I use a highlighter. I've also been loving three eyeshadow palettes the most. I've really been loving these almost every day. The first is my Urban Decay Naked Palette, which, of course, I've been using a ton just because it is new and I want to use it. I've um, been loving this, but I have been forcing myself to use other makeup palettes. So I've also been using this Giovi makeup palette, and I love this makeup palette. I've used this in quite a few tutorials. I've gotten it from Rite Aid. The colors are just so pretty. Um, my favorite one, well, one of them, is this gorgeous blue color. I mean, I'll show you this purple. I mean, they're still pretty, and they're very, very sheer. That's the pink. They're very, very, um, what's the word? Shimmery, I guess. I don't know. Whatever whatever the word is for what this is, that's what they are. <laughs> um, but they're very blendable. They're super pigmented. And I really love them. Um, and not just those colors, like the whole, all, the whole palette I love. Um, and I've been using, and I've also been using the Natural Eye Kit from Rue 21. And this is a dupe for the Too Faced Natural Eye Kit. I've really been loving in Sand Dunes, this color here, and this color as well. And that one is in Rising Tides. And I've also been really using, I love this, this Brow Fix Kit from Milani. Um, I've had a lot of my favorite gurus that I watch use this, and I bought it, and I love this. Um, it doesn't last all day unless you use, like, a gel or something over it, but this is amazing. Um, it's a little kit, and it's very cheap. I think it was, like, $6.49 or something like that. And it looks like this. comes with a sponge tip applicator. Um, an eyeliner and a little pair of tweezers. Now the tweezers are really hard to like get to grip because they don't really close but otherwise I really love this. I love the highlighter color and I've used both of the brow colors. I've been using more of the middle one and a little goes a long way. I've been using this all month and it hasn't even begun to make a dent in it um, but I've used it every day so I love this and I think everybody should buy this. And let's see the mascaras that I've really been alternating in between is my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes and my 1x1 
mascara by Maybelline. These two I've been using all my, I've been alternating them, but these are the two ones, the two that I mainly use. There's two concealers that I've really been using. The first is the Hard Candy Glamouflage, and like I said, I've been using this all month, and I haven't even begun to make a dent in this. Um, this is going to last me forever, so I have been using this, and on top of it, I've really been loving to use my Sally Hansen Purple Concealer. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um purple concealer because even if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup just putting this on really brightens up your look um some days i don't go to work without makeup on just because i'm so tired but if you would just even put this on and a little bit of mascara and a little bit of white eyeliner this is perfect it it really makes a difference um and i i'm not trying to ramble but people their first impression of you is whenever they very first look at you so I've really been trying to make sure that I do wear makeup to work and that I don't look a hot mess whenever I go to work if I don't wear makeup, but I don't look my best. And I want to look my best, you know, um, so enough of the rambling, but this has really been a lifesaver for me because even when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, put this on, a little white eyeliner and some mascara, and I look, you know, halfway decent. So I've used that a lot. Uh, I've been using this um, Wet n Wild Idle Eyes in Pixie. I love this. Here, I'll do it on this hand. It's so creamy. So shimmery, and it's really, really pretty. So, I've been using the crap out of this main one. I've been using this concealer and foundation brush duo. I got it from Rite Aid. I don't know what brand it is. I've been using my concealer to take and like pat it on and then that'll leave streaks and then I've been taking the foundation brush to really, really rub it in. So I love this duo. Um, it's perfect. I've washed it a few times. It hasn't shed. I really love this brush and I want to get another one so like they don't like discontinue it and I'll never know because it doesn't really have a brand. I just got it from Rite Aid. And I've also really been using, I've been using this for a lot, my e.l.f. contouring brush. It's just a small one. This brush is so, I mean, it's perfect to for your highlight color, for your eyelid color, for your crease color, for blending. I love this brush. It is so, um, what's the word, universal, I guess. It's awesome, and I love this brush. And I purchased another one. Um, I did that in my third haul, which I still have to upload um, for Easter, but I love this brush, and I will, I want to buy a few more just to have them. And the final thing that I've really, really been using, and I've talked about this a few times, is my e.l.f. Glossy Gloss in Dragon Fruit. I actually have it on right now over a lipstick. I love this gloss. The only thing, again, I don't like is the wand. I just wish it was like a sponge tip wand, but I mean, whatever, I'll get over it. Um, but this is my favorite gloss. It's sticky, but not being like grossly sticky. It's sticky enough and it lasts for a very, very long time. So those are the products that I've really, really been using a lot throughout the month of April. Um, I love them and I will probably use the crap out of them next month. Um, so I don't know if I'll do a monthly favorites next month because it might be the same items. Um, thank you guys for watching. I just want to say I do have, I already said this, but I do have my makeup collection coming. Um, I'm planning on doing a video. This was requested such a long time ago and I was just going through my stuff because um, I write down what people request for, I, you know, to list to do. I am doing how to do thick eyeliner. That was requested so long ago and it's such an easy video. Um, I'm going to do that. There's this really pretty, very colorful but wearable makeup tutorial that I'm planning on doing. So I, those are just a few ideas. Again, if you guys have any requests for any videos, any reviews on any products or whatever, comment below and I will gladly do them. Um, it might take me a while, but I will do them. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe and comment below. Bye.